this is a basic you let's kill vpx I start entering an IP address a subnet mask and the gateway check IP address subnet mask and gateway and then I press for save and quit and then netscale is booting up this will take some while Before we continue, we need to talk about Netscaler IP addressing. I painted Workstation, Netscaler and Servers. My Netscaler got a virtual server in it. And this virtual server needs to get a virtual IP address. The client will think of the virtual server to be the server it's connecting to. The Netscaler itself will connect to the backend servers, so to the original web servers. It uses its subnet IP address for this as an IP. So the subnet IP address is called as an IP. The virtual IP address is called VIP. Now the Netscaler box itself will have an IP address, we call this Netscaler IP address. We got two Netscalers in our picture, an active and a passive one. And the active one is Netscaler IP1, the passive one is Netscaler IP2, so they have different IP addresses. And Heartbeat is flowing from Netscaler IP1 to Netscaler IP2. So these are the Netscaler IPs. There is a discontinued type of IP addresses called mapped IP addresses, MIP. A mapped IP address is basically the same as a subnet IP address with some restrictions. Basically, it has to be in the same subnet as a Netscaler IP address. And because of this, it's discontinued and we don't use it anymore. We open up the browser and surf to our Netscaler. Log on as NSU, password will be NSU as well. This is default. And this is the first time use wizard in the GUI. We have to specify subnet IP address, of course, so the address is used in backend connections. 30.110 for this. We need to specify uh, host name a DNS server and time zone. So this is here. DNS server and of course the time zone. After doing this, we need to reboot the box. After reboot, we start adding a license, so we log on again and again return to this first time use wizard. Click licenses and browse for a new license. Take this one, upload the license. Here we are, and reboot again. Logging on again, username and password in the suit. And instead of the first time use wizard, we will see a summary of licenses installed on the Netscaler. 
here it is so you see this uh, maximum number of 5 VPN users unlimited number of ICA users this is a platinum license and it's a model 3000 of Netscale VPX so 3 gigabit VPX you see it in here again if we click on system licenses same information all kinds of licenses are here and all of the features this is an important one are disabled so you see they all have yellow exclamation marks and this means the features are not available yet